I don't even know what to say for this. We're watching BDS versus G2, the final game of the whole entire season. Monkey Moon POV already off to kick off. It just makes me so sad. I don't even want to watch this because I'm a diehard G2 fan. Not really, but I wanted them to win. On the kickoff, j -Nash just drives past the ball, tries to get the doink with the corner of his car. Very painful to watch. And he just does not get that little chip touch he wants. Not the great greatest way to start the game, for sure. But, yeah, 1-0 very quickly. Um, Don't know if I'm going to commentate much of this game. I know I did just now a little, but kind of want to speak my thoughts on the season and other stuff. For starters, this man we're watching on your screen got defensive MVP. I think he deserved overall MVP. Let me know what you think, if that's blasphemy or not. But holy shit, Monkey Moon, which is balling. Him and Seiko both were. Seiko did get MVP, like, overall. But Monkey Moon, I just felt like was he's just such a great rotator. Team player, look at that unselfish play. Instead of just firing it on net, a little slow shot, probably saveable. He passes it down to Seiko, who is upfield and waiting for that and this is going to be another goal insane very disappointing times two let's take a look look we have jnaps here 77 boost and instead of flipping he just tries to get that control touch get some offense going because the whole day you got to think think of it from his perspective the whole series they're down four or no three one and they just want some offense man they haven't really been getting goals like that g2 is notorious for getting goals um and he, he probably wants a control touch get it like mid to someone but he that's another ball where he just has to like 50 and whatever challenge because the whole like bds is coming right at him almost sketchy again for g2 but they get out of that alive good job to them but yeah jane house i thought was the best player on g2 leading up to this particular game before this he played i thought very well games one through four um atomic in chicago had some mishaps and the whole team the whole team definitely were missing shots and uh missing some plays here and there but yeah i mean all of g2 is is to blame there's no one player that should be like oh drop this player absolutely not that is not the case g2 just didn't perform in uh the finals bds did and that's all it was that was the difference one team came to play the other team did not very sad to say G2 Army, though, hopefully next season. It's going to be a long 365 days. Got to feel like this is the best chance that JNS will get to win his world title, but you never know. Keep my hopes up, and hopefully next Worlds. I hope everyone is hearing the tears of an NA fan, because the tears are flowing. No, I'm just kidding. I'd never cry. Actually, I would. This shit's so sad. But regardless, though, BDS, on the other hand, Look at this rotation for Monkey Moon. Just kind of driving around. He has the pads. He has six boost in net. He gets the one pad. He's just kind of chilling, bro. He doesn't need to do anything crazy. 50 extras probably here. Monkey Moon just calls him off. Says, I got it, bro. And that's just great. I don't know. It's, it's the little things with BDS. And they're doing the little things well. Zero boost turnaround. Keep the ball in their half. Even though they get a touch out. And that could have been a chance for them. But it's covered well. Like, BDS is just has good rotations right now, and that's the main thing. Like, that's so textbook. Even right there, past the Monkey Moon. Monkey passes back in to the kid, or to Seiko, who's coming out of net. It just all looks very good. Lots of confidence. He, they know when to dribble, too. G2, like, obviously this game did not know when to dribble, but, like, when Monkey Moon sees the whole entire front of the road in front of him, he knows, like, all right, I can take my time. Do a little dribble right here. Like right here, he knows. He can take his time, get a 50 maybe across the, no the uh, net. Doesn't get it exactly, but you get the point. It seemed like G2 were just not as on point as Team BDS. 100 boost for uh, Monkey. Tries to pass him mid, but cut off by Atomic. Great job by him. Almost gets another touch. Could be good for G2, Chicago. Atomic, they almost made it work. Almost made it work, but it was still a little, like, sloppy. You could definitely tell. Seiko fakes J-Naps. Pretty clean. Monkey off the sidewall for someone. Good speed from Extra. He actually does make it there. I didn't think he'd get there in time. It was read by both teams like, extremely quickly. But, um, not Extra was there very quick. And, like, this team just knows everything. 
Extra slows it down as third man. Monkey even knows what side to spawn on. He's insane. Seiko blocks. See what Monkey does here. He gets fucking landed on, bro. And he still gets that read. I gotta go back. He literally gets Goomba stomped on from this guy. Dang. <laughs> That's so funny. Like, I would be panicking my ass off right there. I do not think I would get that touch. Maybe. I don't know. But Monkey probably thinking, alright, I only got like 10 boost here. I gotta just go play the ball. Hopefully no one's coming for this. And if someone does go for it, then they deserve the goal. So, that's probably what went through his head in those short one second, two seconds. But look at it, look at Monkey eat the 50. Extra hits it, which is fine. Seiko, perfect spot. This could be a goal. It is going to be a goal. 13 seconds left. Monkey is just insane. We're going back. Look at the boost management. That is the important thing here. So right here, gets a 50 extra, just bangs it. Seiko still in a great position. That is low-key also what makes this play work. And Monkey has 34 boost, I think it was, going for that ball. That is wild, bro. Let's, so let's appreciate this other thing, Seiko, this back post rotation. So it's not quite back post, but hear me out. This is what happened. He was waiting for like the Monkey 50 or pass to go mid. So he's in a gray spot right here. Then he starts like rotating back, right? So he's extra hit it forward, so he he thinks he can go forward, but it's still like a neutral fifty. So he's still driving like towards us, right? But right here he sees he sees Atomic on the screen, knows he can beat him, turns around, gets it a monkey, and monkey that is just perfect, bro. BDS definitely deserved it. They wanted it more. As all the Rocket League kids would say, they just wanted it more. And they did. Great challenge. Congratulations to P Team BDS on a magnificent season. Mark by 8 did not die in vain. Glad he got his title. But it does hurt me that Bubbles, aka JNAPS, did not get his title. Sag. Uh, Alright. 5 shots G2. Not that good. BDS had 10 shots. Is pretty good. Yeah. Alright. Sorry, it was a little quieter of a video. Um... Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe what you thought. Definitely comment what you thought. Did I say subscribe what you thought? I don't know. But comment what you thought. Love y'all. Have a good one. Peace.